guys, Liquid here, and welcome to a new LP. This is something that has been in the making for a very long time, very very long time. This is monumental for my channel. We're making a new game. This is Let's Play Spider-Man 2 The Movie. The Game. The Movie. The Game. Let's get into this. Son. This, I would say, is by far my most um, requested LP ever. Um, if I had a penny for every time I got requested to, to do this game, I wouldn't be wealthy or anything, but I'd have a ton of pennies. Getting a nice view of the city. Now, one thing, this is my very first LP that I've ever done with my HD PVR. Which is kind of a shame that I'm doing a PS2 game, because it can't really show off all the HD-ness. So, I don't want to see any comments saying that like the game doesn't look that great. That's just how the game looks. That It's a PS2 game, it happens. Man. This, my history with this game goes back a very long time. This is my story. It's the usual thing. Boy meets girl. Boy loses girl. Boy meets another girl. Well, oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Don't think my life is all flowers and romance, though. I wish. More and more, my life is spent out here, fighting some of the worst the city has to offer. Sometimes it's just a mugger. Sometimes it's, it's a bigger a problem. problem. This is the city I protect. New York City. It's my home. My playground. my playground. Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good. My responsibility. Ah, and this is Mary Jane. The girl next door. The girl I love. But love is a tricky thing when you live part of your life behind a mask. Fate handed me amazing powers. And I made a promise to use those powers to help people. With great power comes great responsibility. No matter how much I might wish things were different, there's only one Spider-Man. I like to imagine that he just like self-reflects to himself like this every day. Here we are, folks. What might have been. Now Mr. Bruce Campbell's gonna come in. Well, sequel time already, huh? Hell yeah. Welcome back, I guess. I'm sure you miss me more than I miss you. People down there are very irritable. Changed around here since last time, so they dragged me back at great expense to explain what's up. First things first. You're not much of a wall crawler if you can't, you know, stick to walls. So here's what I'm sticking to walls, dude. You walk or run, Isn't that cool? And hold the My fingertips Voila. are all sticky. You stick to the wall. It works when you're swinging or jumping too. <laughs> Head first into the invisible wall. Let's talk jumping. Hold down the jump button and you'll charge your jump. This yellow bar shows how strong your jump will be. We can jump very high. Woo! You got it? You sure? We can't actually do like double jumps in this. We just do like air tricks. Okay. Look at Mary Jane over there. Ain't she beautiful? If you tap the jump button, you'll just do a little ha. A little, a little ha. Hop. That's because you didn't hop. Your jump. That's not really a hop though, like we're still jumping like the... We could jump over a small Let's boy. Get this show on the road. See that little doohickey? That's your destination marker and it tells you how to get where you need to go. Clever, huh? When it's in the middle of the screen, you know you're heading towards your goal. Easy, right? I'm not going to go over there, there yet though. Second, and look at your map. See it there? I want that green thing over there. You, and the blue dot is your destination marker. The line that connects each dot to the map represents how high off the ground that particular thing is. Oh, that makes sense, right? We're quite high. <laughs> yeah, sure it does. I like that. I'm going to keep it that way. <laughs> so this over here, my fine viewers, this is a hint marker. There are like 200 of these all throughout the city. Let me check that. That's 213, and each of them has like a unique hint by Bruce Campbell himself. So we'll get this one. You can jump the gap between these two towers by charging. I already did that, man. 
Charge jumping is easy and fun. I probably should have put it on the other side. Seriously. No, no, seriously. Alright then. And those points that we just got, those are hero points. They are sort of our currency. Um, there is a store throughout the game where we can like buy upgrades. We can like buy fighting moves and stuff like that. And we will be able to buy upgrades with hero points. And also, um, there comes a there comes there come points where there will be times when we cannot increase we cannot further the story until we get um, a certain amount of hero points. So hero points are are good. And one thing you know, like see this like swing speed level, web zip, wall sprint duration. Like these are all things that we have to buy at the spider store. And one thing, because this has been requested so many times, when I think about it, I very, very well may, I very well may try to 100% this, or at least as close as I can. Like that means getting all like the secret tokens and all that stuff. Like um, aside from from uh those hint hint tokens, there are um other stuff. Like skyscraper tokens found on like random skyscrapers, buoy tokens found on um random buoys in the ocean, all the side missions and stuff. I'm gonna try to, I'm going to try, I'm going to treat this game as a rag, and I'm going to try to like um squeeze it as dry as possible. Ah. But without further ado, let's get back to our. Actual objective. See what Mr. Mr. Campbell wants us to do. Everything's broken into chapters, and every chapter opens with one of these nifty little slow mo. Things. A day in the life. Those words zipping by under the chapter title are the items on your to-do list. So get busy. Okay. There's something in my water. The next thing I want you to do is jump off the building. I mean it. Just jump. Hey, I wouldn't tell you to do something dangerous and life-threatening, would I? Come on. Oh, oh, Mr. Campbell, you're so funny, ha ha ha. You know I would always jump o over a building for you. So, get all, we get a good, uh, get a good di distance. Get our footing, and jump. Woo! You always do what people tell you. You know, there's a word for that. Loser. <laughs> so what now? I love you too, Mr. Campbell. Just a little friendly advice while you're falling to your death. You're going to want to shoot out a web line to save yourself. Push the left analog stick in the direction you want to go, then press the swing button. Look at me doing my flips. Oh, by the way, it'll only work if there's something swingable in range, okay? I, I'm not going to swing. I say screw you. I'm not going to swing. I'm going to hit the ground. Watch this. I, I don't think this will actually kill us. So we're just gonna head first, pretty much smack, smack right down. Uh, any time now, that pavement's not getting any soft. No. Hit the swing button, will ya? Nope. Oh, oh. <laughs> I would work on that landing. Remember, it isn't falling that hurts you; it's the sudden stop at the end. Alrighty then. Swing. Hey, you made it. Now let me tell you a little about swinging. Every time you press the swing button, you'll shoot a new web line. Now there's all kinds of fancy stuff you can do, but let's take baby steps. We are a trapeze artist. Woo! Rah! About, why don't you swing around for a while? You know, do your thing. I'll check up on you later. You're fine. Go ahead. We are on Mary Jane's Go face. Ahead. Isn't that beautiful? Oh Mary Jane. Oh Mary Jane. How I wish I could crawl on top of your face. Mmm. Mm. Right. I believe. Look at all these people. Jeez, Louise, it's always something in this town. Oh, aren't you so cool? Oh yeah, you. Cause you. Screw you. You're not. You're not even worth a witty comeback. Um, Campbell. Hero points. You want them? You need them. Use hero points to buy upgrades for yourself at the Spidey store. Check off tasks on your to-do list. Whatever. How do you earn hero points? 
Well, I'm glad you asked, my young friend. You get them by doing heroic things, you know, like stopping crimes, or uh, taking pictures, or uh, delivering pizzas. I would say say that delivering pizzas, pizzas is a very, very heroic thing. If you work... Attention viewers, okay, if you work in pizza delivery, Listen, give yourself a pat on the back. Hey, You're a hero. What's going on down there? Stop! Well, Stop! Oh no! Just got held up and the robbers are driving away. What are you gonna do about it? Looks like playtime is over. Put all the stuff you've learned together and get into action. Alrighty then. The car. Use the destination marker and your map if you lose them. Oh, and try not to embarrass yourself, okay? Every hint marker in the city is a direct line to me for a special piece of information, advice, or I don't know what have you. Oh, and you'll get some hero points, too. In case you're into, uh, winning. <laughs> okay, then. I'm quite into that. I know a lot of people don't don't enjoy it, but... It's going around. I like it. You know, there's over 200 hit markers scattered around the city. And if you actually manage to hit them all, I'll be impressed, because that means you need a lot of help. <laughs> One thing to note... When you get all the hint markers, they'll actually reset, and then every hint marker will actually say something different, and keep that in mind. Remember that. He, every hint marker will say something different. Mark my words. Oh god. Oh freaking, um. I didn't know, like, I completely forgot about the, uh, the crime. The hint markers got, got to me. Oops. Becker, dude. Looks like the robbers are escaping on foot. Hello, twins. Look at those freaking you know, triplet clones. I mean, this isn't a oh. class. What do you expect? Spidey likes to wail on him. Ho! Oh. Rodeo style. See something cool? So oh, look at after that last that's run. something cool right there. Look at him, all floaty. While you run and hold attack when you get up. nice going. Now get back to the arcade on. You know, you should check out some of the games he's got too. Oh, arcade owner, we've got a surprise for you. Ooh, some hero tokens here. Or, um, if you buy a cannonball kick from the Spidey store, and I recommend it. You can actually attack while swinging. <gasps> oh! You're good at it, and you'll be knocking thugs over like bowling pins. It's best to get like these the second you see them, because or else I am going to be ending up doing a massive, crazed run throughout the entire city, and um, it's not it's not going to be pretty. Because if you look here. This is a massive city, right? Like, it's, it's huge. Check this out. If you're swinging and you press and hold the swing button instead of letting go, you'll hold on to two web lines. The one you were swinging on before and the new one you just shot out. Why would you want to do that? Well, there's something for you to think about, huh? Oh, Mr. Campbell, you never fail to get my mind racing. While you're flying through the air, that's during a game, I mean, try pressing the jump button. You can do all kinds of crazy moves in the air. Well, Mr. Campbell, like, he's kind of with us now, but, um, as the game goes on, when we get out of the tutorial phase, he, he's not going to be, like, commentating the entire time. This map is real useful. You can see destination markers and all kinds of other useful locations on it. Check it out when you get lost. But you'll never get lost. I know you. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. You have put faith in me that no one else has. Just appeared. Go buy the speed upgrade, then we'll move on. So yeah, the um, we can actually go to the arcade and um, play like Spider-Man arcade games. There's there's actually some pretty cool stuff. Um, hello there. I would uh, like to uh, buy uh, the ability to uh, 
Swing faster? I just, I just like to imagine that, like, he takes me back City's been quiet lately. and, uh, gives me some sort of shot. Oh, look at us. I'd say, like, if they made a Spider-Man movie and there was no story to it and it was just Spider-Man swinging around, like, in pure acrobatic form, that would be beautiful. I, I would love that. So oftentimes, like, some of my favorite parts of the, of the Spidey movies are, like, the scenes where he's just, like, swinging. There's something very majestic about it. Beautiful, Rosie. This will be my gift to the world. Unlimited energy. The power of a sun harnessed for the good of all mankind. Don't forget the good of Otto. Eat something. The world will still be here in half an hour. <laughs> I would like to imagine that, that he's pondering. Should I eat? Or should I save humanity? Hmm. Uh, before we go any further, I think it might be a good Punctuality idea. is the thief of time. If you could call it that. Just go to the pause menu and bring up the save load screen. Easy, right? Well, then do it. Probably should save, shouldn't we? Um, 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 um. That there is, um, I, I, I made a save file because I was, like, testing it out. See how it looked and stuff like that. 